ready for love? Dim the lights, light some candles and put on Marvin Gaye. But if that's not enough to get you ready for a weekend of sexual healing, maybe it's time to eat. We're wooing you with advertising aphrodisiacs on It's All About You. It's date night. Time to turn up the heat. You might be picturing a romantic meal or movie night, but the best place for romance is the grocery store. The uh, produce <laughs> store is where the magic happens, oh, let me tell you. Oh, really? Dr. Mark Hong is a urologist specializing in everything from the kidneys down. The sexier it seems, or the more suggestive uh, something might be, it actually can also be an aphrodisiac. For example, oysters, they're a bit slimy, they're a bit dirty, but it kind of gets you in that little bit of fun or mood. <laughs> but not all of us eat seafood. Absolutely. Some can be extremely allergic. The doctor has given us his prescription for bedroom boosters from the produce aisle. First, eat avocados to increase your desire. They're chock full of folate and vitamins. And these are, again, some of the essential nutrients that go into uh, our reproductive lives. It's also, I think, it's just really sexy. I mean, look at this thing. It's sexy. A little bit mysterious. I'm just still working on the sexy part. <laughs> Next, fellas, listen up. Reach for the pumpkin seeds for a boost in pretty much everything sexy. So zinc is a very important compound that goes into uh, male reproductive organs. Go do your jack-o'-lantern this year. Carve this thing out. Save the seeds. Lastly, grab fruits, especially bananas, pineapples, and raspberries. It actually gives us not only energy, but it improves the blood flow to your sexual organs. Raspberries, they have actually been shown in some studies to boost your libido. If I sit down and eat everything you've shown us today, all in one sitting, am I going to be feeling super amorous? You know what? You might. For the list of more sexy foods, or for our uncensored blooper <laughs> reel, go to thelisttv.com. Oh, behave! This is a professional family show. Aphrodisiacs own naturel because it's all about you. Sexy. Mysterious. I'm just still working on the sexy part. <laughs> Donna, honestly, you see an avocado, I see a uterus. No, I know that. <laughs> Sorry, I. Okay, so what other foods can give us more motion in the ocean? <laughs> you see an avocado, I see a big ball, a big bollock. Okay, fine. Fair enough. So, what other foods can get more motion in the ocean? You know what, Donna, I. <laughs> Donna, I gotta say, I love motion and. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you know, I just I can't wait to tear into this one because okay. this is gonna really help me. Out. <laughs> okay, guys, let's pay, let's bring it back to a family show. How many pineapples do you think someone would have to eat that would be the equivalent to a Viagra? One Viagra pill. Well, that's a great question, Donna. I I think it's fair to <laughs> say that. Hundreds of thousands. And this stuff, it actually helps with your blood flow, especially to your private parts, the parts that you need them. And so uh, when you when you kind of get into this, uh, it hearing, actually can I'm give you a boost. I'm private parts. <laughs> if I sit down and eat everything you've shown us today, everything here on the table, all in one sitting, am I going to be feeling super amorous? You know what? You might. <gasps> and I think maybe you should try it out. But uh, He says, looking at me with a wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> if you Mark, ate, behave! If you this is a professional everything. family show.